Are you ready to discover the masterminds behind some of the world's most iconic structures? From towering skyscrapers to revolutionary bridges, these structural engineers have changed the way we think about building and design. Join us as we count down the most famous and renowned structural engineers in the world. From the father of tubular design to the engineers behind some of the most revolutionary structures in history, this list has it all. Please note that this list of top structural engineers is not in any particular order, and all of them have made significant contributions to the field of structural engineering and have left their mark on some of the most iconic buildings and structures around the globe. Each of them has their own unique strengths and accomplishments, and it would not be fair to rank them in any particular order. They are all great in their own right and have made a lasting impact on the world of engineering. Countless engineers have made significant contributions to the field of structural engineering. The engineers mentioned here are just a few of the most renowned ones, each with their own unique strengths and accomplishments. With that being said, let's get started without further ado and discover the names that have left a mark on the world of structural engineering. 1. Fazlur Rahman Khan the man who redefined the limits of skyscraper design and earned himself the title of the father of tubular design. Born in Bangladesh in 1929, meet Fazlur Rahman Khan, the Bangladeshi-American structural engineer and architect who revolutionized the industry with his innovative use of structural steel in skyscraper design. Khan's greatest achievement was his innovative use of structural steel in skyscraper design. Prior to his work, most skyscrapers were constructed using load-bearing walls, which limited the height and size of the buildings. But Khan had a different vision. He wanted to build taller, more efficient buildings. And that's exactly what he did. He introduced the concept of the tube structure, which allowed for buildings to be taller and more efficient by distributing the weight of the building evenly throughout its structure. One of his most notable works is the John Hancock Center in Chicago which was completed in 1969. The building's design, which used a bundled tube structure, was a breakthrough in skyscraper engineering and set the standard for future high-rise construction. Not only that, but it also stood as the tallest building in the world outside of New York City for over 25 years. Another famous building he designed is the Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower, in Chicago, which was completed in 1974 and is one of the tallest buildings in the world with 110 stories. Khan's work not only changed the skyline of Chicago, but it also changed the skyline of the world. His innovative approach to structural engineering allowed for the construction of taller, stronger, and more efficient buildings. He pushed the boundaries of what was thought to be possible and has been an inspiration for engineers and architects around the world. 2. Robert Maillard Meet Robert Maillard, a pioneer in the field of bridge engineering. His innovative use of reinforced concrete revolutionized bridge design and construction in the early 20th century. Born in Switzerland in 1872, Maillard began his career as a civil engineer, working on various projects around Europe. But it was his work on bridges that truly set him apart. One of his most notable works was the Salgenatobel Bridge, completed in 1930. The bridge's unique arch design, made entirely of reinforced concrete, was a masterpiece of engineering and a major achievement in engineering at the time of its completion. Maillard's design for the bridge was innovative and unique. He used a thin shell of reinforced concrete to create the arch, which allowed the bridge to be both strong and lightweight. But Maillard's work was not limited to just bridges. He also designed several buildings and structures, including the Swiss Pavilion at the 1937 Paris World's Fair, which was also made entirely of reinforced concrete. 3. Eugene Fresinet Eugene Fresinet, a French structural engineer who revolutionized the field of pre-stressed concrete and is considered one of the most important figures in the history of engineering. Born in France in 1879, Fresinet began his career as a civil engineer, working on various projects such as bridges and buildings. 
but it was his work on pre-stressed concrete that cemented his legacy as one of the most innovative engineers of his time. He was the first to utilize pre-stressed concrete in large-scale projects, such as the extension of the Air France terminal at Orly Airport, and the first pre-stressed concrete bridge in the world, the Saint-Nazaire Bridge in France. He also developed the technique of pre-tensioning, which allowed for even greater strength in concrete structures and led to the creation of new forms of architectural design. Fresinet passed away in 1962, but his contributions to engineering, design, and safety continue to be remembered and respected by the engineering community. His legacy lives on through the structures he designed and the techniques he developed, and continues to be an inspiration to engineers and architects around the world. 4. Gustav Eiffel Gustav Eiffel, a French engineer and architect who is best known for designing and building the iconic Eiffel Tower, one of the most recognizable structures in the world. Eiffel had a long and illustrious career, working on many notable projects such as the Statue of Liberty's iron framework and the Garabit Viaduct in southern France. He also built a number of bridges in Europe, including the Maria Pia Bridge in Portugal and the Bordeaux Bridge in France. But it was his design and construction of the Eiffel Tower that cemented his legacy as one of the most innovative engineers of his time. The Eiffel Tower was built for the 1889 Exposition Universelle, a World's Fair held in Paris to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. The tower was initially met with skepticism and controversy, with many considering it an eyesore and an engineering impossibility. But Eiffel's determination and innovative approach to engineering proved the doubters wrong, and the Eiffel Tower was completed on schedule and within budget. The Eiffel Tower not only served as the entrance arch to the 1889 Exposition Universelle, but also as a demonstration of the latest engineering techniques. Eiffel and his team used a new type of puddled iron for the tower's framework, which made it much stronger and more stable. The tower stood as the tallest man-made structure in the world for 41 years and continues to be a major tourist attraction, welcoming millions of visitors each year. He also made significant contributions to the field of aerodynamics, testing various wing shapes and designing wind tunnels. Eiffel's impact on the engineering world can be seen in the many skyscrapers and iconic structures that have been built since his time, many of which have been inspired by his innovative approach to design and engineering. His work continues to be studied and admired by engineers and architects around the world, and his name will forever be synonymous with the Eiffel Tower and the legacy of French engineering. 5. Frey Otto a visionary architect and engineer who pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible in the field of tensile and lightweight structures. Born in Germany in 1925, Otto began his career as an architect and engineer, experimenting with new materials and techniques to create innovative structures. He was particularly interested in creating structures that were lightweight, efficient, and sustainable, using materials like steel, aluminum, and plastics. One of his most notable works was the German pavilion at the 1967 Montreal World's Fair, which was made entirely of lightweight steel and acrylic fibers and featured a large tensile canopy that covered the entire pavilion. The pavilion was a stunning sight to behold, and it was a breakthrough in the field of tensile structures. But Otto's work was not limited to just pavilions. He also designed several other structures, including Multichal in Mannheim, which was a giant tensile structure made of steel and acrylic fibers. The structure was an engineering marvel, and it was considered one of the most advanced structures of its time. 6. Leslie E. Robertson Leslie E. Robertson, a pioneering structural engineer who changed the skyline of the world with his innovative approach to building design. Born in 1921, Robertson began his career as a structural engineer, working on projects such as the United Nations headquarters in New York City. But it was his work on the World Trade Center that cemented his legacy as one of the most innovative engineers of his time. Robertson was the lead structural engineer on the World Trade Center, which was completed in 1973, and he was responsible for designing the unique tubular structure that allowed the towers to reach their impressive heights. 
The Twin Towers stood as the tallest buildings in the world for over 30 years, and they were a symbol of American engineering and architectural excellence. But Robertson's work was not limited to just the World Trade Center. He also worked on several other notable structures, including the Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong and the Jin Mao Tower in Shanghai. His contributions to the field of seismic engineering and innovative approach to structural engineering allowed for the construction of taller, stronger, and more efficient buildings. That's all for today, guys. These engineers have redefined the limits of engineering and have left an indelible impression on the world through their innovative designs and pioneering work. Their legacy lives on through the structures they designed, reminding us of the incredible potential of human ingenuity and the power of engineering to shape the world we live in. Thank you for watching Civil Mentors. Join us again for more awesome content by subscribing to the channel.